Hello folks, Mr. Swinger1 here. Welcome back to the channel. I want to show you what I got going on this weekend. Um, I'm doing the headliners. I got the new one hanging in the car. We'll take a look. I just want to go over, share what I'm doing to the car this weekend. Um, taking a break from the engine. Uh, but there'll be more to come on that. But uh, let's look. I got the new headliner hanging in there. You can see all the wrinkles. Um, I didn't really cover taking it out and putting it in. There's plenty of videos out there. But I'm going to work these wrinkles out. Uh, there is a recommendation to use spring clips. I don't really have any of them. I have some cheap ones from Harbor Freight that look like so. They're not really getting it done. What I'm going to do I'm going to use duct tape. And so you, you tape around the edges of the window openings. You get all the wrinkles out. And then you begin to tuck the headliner on the uh, tack strips that are built into the body. Plus using a little bit of glue. So I'm going to get started on that. We'll see how it goes. It's kind of cold in the garage today. I do have a heat gun. I'm going to get it as best as I can. And then work the last of the wrinkles out with the heat gun. Um, I did not film me installing this because this is the first one I ever did. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't want to put a video out there where people are watching some guy doing it for the first time because I'm not an expert. I'm just a do it yourself or trying to get his car together. But we'll see how it goes. All right. All right. This is what we got going on. I don't have clips, so I'm using duct tape. So the idea is to stretch this headliner out, get all the wrinkles out, and then start cutting and attaching. So I have some duct tape. I pulled first back at the rear window at the center. Duct taped it down. Um, taped it along the sides here. And a little bit across the front. I didn't do any relief cuts yet. And then we'll come around to the passenger side of the car <clears throat> and I got to get a pair of scissors and cut up in here I'm gonna have to trim back because it's bunching up against the uh, what do they call them man it's a name for it the bow Basically the bow clips where the bow sit. But see all the wrinkles? I'm gonna have to pull from the driver's side to the passenger side. It's gonna bunch up. Maybe you can see it right there. You can see the bow. You can kind of see the bow sitting in that little green like nesting cradle for it. So I'm gonna pull all this over there. I gotta trim this white channel back where I can pull over and it's not gonna bunch up right there. That's the idea. Um, so I'm going to go get some scissors, we're going to do that, and we're going to start pulling from the driver's side over. Um, anybody out there, if you want to comment, I'm doing this wrong, that's fine. This is the first time I've done it, and I may be doing it wrong. I'm not a headliner guy, but this day and age, more and more of this stuff you're going to have to do yourself. There's just less and less people doing it affordably. Um, but I'm going to get it as best as I can. And I got a heat gun to take the last final little wrinkles out. And we'll see how it goes. All right. Stay tuned. All right. Let's look at where we're at. This is after hours of playing around. Let's take a look. <clears throat> There's a couple wrinkles here and there. I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to let the heat run overnight. Uh, try to keep a controlled temperature out here. Um, the duct tape idea didn't work, so I just started installing it. I started at the back. I hooked it on the uh, the tack hooks in the window channel, and I just pulled forward. Um, I'm gonna let it sit. Uh, there's some smudges on it. I'm gonna have to wet wipe it, and then I'm gonna let this thing sit probably until spring hits. And uh, 
if there's any more wrinkles, I'll just heat, I'll steam them out and get my heat gun out. I gotta play with it some more. But, uh, yeah, this is the first time headliner install. Um, I wouldn't recommend it if you don't have patience, but there are YouTube videos out there. Uh, watch the videos however many times you need till you understand, and then go for it. Um, the information's out there. I, uh, I uh, installed carpet at one point in my life, so I kind of knew the idea between, you know, where to, you, you, you'd stretch it in and you cut relief cuts where you have to, and you just have to know how to cut it in. So my carpet installing experience helped. I'm gonna turn this light off, see if it, uh, you really can't see anything. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go around the other side of the car, we'll get a shot from the passenger side. But, <sighs> I'm happy with this. This is my first time putting a headliner in. I think it it's going to be okay. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to keep messing with it, tweaking it as I put the interior back in the car. Um, this car does need a repaint, but I told the wife. I have all the interior parts laying around. As I said, I'm going to start putting the interior back in it, and I'll just mask it off and paint it like Mako does. You don't have to have the interior out of the car to paint it. It just gives you more work masking it off. But it's uh, an unusually warm winter, and I wanted to get out here and just get something productive done to this car. So there it is, folks, and we will look at it from the passenger side, too. All right, here we are from the passenger side. Not too bad. I don't have the dome light and the clothes hooks and the seat belt hooks. This has the uh, lap belt and the sh shoulder belt that hangs up on the... the uh, ceiling of the car our sun visors and our rear view mirror all have to be installed but uh yeah i i think this is gonna work out okay it's stretched in nice although i tell you in the beginning i wasn't so sure there are a few wrinkles i'm gonna end up heat gunning them out at some point later but that's it i'm gonna let this thing sit for a while and settle in um i do think in the summer when it gets warm out this the Wrinkles might uh, come out on their own, but I have a heat gun as a last resort. Um, what you're supposed to use with this is a steam wand. That's what the upholstery shops use. But, yeah, that's it, folks. If I can do it, you can do it. But I will tell you, I started this yesterday. And I probably spent a total of about six hours on it between taking the old one out and getting the new one in. Um, so when, you, when you've never done it before, it's going to take longer. But that's it. Fun stuff. Car, car restoration stuff. Good times.